boys and girls, it's Chaos. I'm bringing you a game of Team Deathmatch on Storm. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Before you criticize my ass in the comments, I know I said I'd never play Team Deathmatch again. But there's a very special guest in this game. And it's the first chance I've got to capture some gameplay with this gentleman in the game. And that is Mr. Irish Ultra. We got Irish up in there with the porch monkeys. And we went and schooled some people's asses. And we had a ball doing it. And I want to thank you, Irish, for jumping in and giving me the opportunity to capture some game with me and you in and the Porch Monkeys. Uh, wow, that was that was one hell of a night. I, I had a lot of fun, and I I, I want to thank my um, brothers in the Porch Monkeys, and I want to thank Irish for <laughs> making a hell of a Friday, a hell of a Friday night for me. Uh, but boys and girls, if you don't know who Irish Alter is, shame on your asses. Go click the description bar. His link is in there to his channel. I believe both of his channels are in there. Uh, I Final Boss and Dutchie's Irish. Go over there. Go to his channel. Give that man a click on the subscribe button. And watch this man's videos. This man does some hellacious good stuff. Um, he, he's just an all-around good guy. He's a real good guy. Um, so, there you go, Irish. There's your shout-out, brother. I know you don't need it. <laughs> but, I... I just finally got an opportunity so I threw it out here but anyway guys enough about that I'm start uh, I don't want people to start getting the wrong idea <laughs> but uh, anyway guys and girl uh, this has been a really good this last week was a really good week uh, we got a reveal of the multiplayer of black ops and all I can say is holy shit this game looks like it is going to be badass I just pray to God Treyarch does not incorporate some of the freaking stupid shit they had it, that Infinity Ward had in this game into that game. I mean, they're starting off a little bit with the RC car. I don't know what the fuck that thing's supposed to be, but I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be kind of like the new UAV. I mean, I know in the trailer they show the sun bitch driving across a map and blowing up next two guys, but I've also heard uh, by doing a little research on the internet they're talking about that thing will be able to drive around and like um like pick up where other players are and stuff i don't know if this is like the new uav or what but if that's what they're going for just hack that stupid thing off and put uavs back in the damn game i mean i i know from um my military experience i've, I've actually had a little hands-on time with some of these um little uh drive around you know peek around corner little robot things you know i've i've, I've had a little hands-on time seen them used yeah they're pretty cool but that's in the day's military not back then so these things weren't even in experimental back then i can get i, I can tell you that right now and uh, i don't know what it's supposed to be but i mean you know if they leave it in so be it who cares i hope they do something with it <laughs> other than just drive up two guys and blow their ass off i don't really want to be sitting in a corner uh for you know five minutes driving this bitch around the map trying to find somebody to blow up i'm not <laughs> that's kind of stupid but uh one other thing i don't know if any of you guys seen or have seen some of the videos of people talking about it but some of the level of customization that they are uh, showing in that trailer for guns i noticed on the first bit um, of course the smiley face red dot that's that was freaking funny as hell when I seen that but if you look uh, at the first clip at the first little bit of that uh, trailer you will notice on the caulking mechanism of that gun uh, when the guy shoots the guy with that uh, that heat camera there's a gamer tag or a clan tag not gamer tag clan tag it's into the caulking mechanism on that gun and that I thought was pretty pretty cool. Um, I also like the uh, banding wrapped around the guns. I don't know if that's a new um, level of the camo or like customization for your gun, but that is actually pretty um, with today's standards. You know, uh, I, I being a, uh, an ex uh, ranger sniper, uh, you know, of course we got to customize our guns, paint them the way we wanted to. And um, 
I, I think it looks a lot better than you know you got the the baby shit uh, fall camo or the you know the fluorescent red um, red camo and shit. You know you're not gonna do that. You know I, I think they're trying to bring a little more into perspective with what military standard is, but of course it's not gonna be realistic. I mean that's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's a video game, uh, but. It looked pretty badass, and uh, you know, I myself was one that kind of thought, well, you know, it's the next uh, Call of Duty series coming out. It's following behind this epic failure, um, but at least one thing I have heard, and I've read it in several other places, that they are talking about dedicated servers for the console. And there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, they can't fucking do that. They can't fucking do that. Uh, there's a lot of games out there with dedicated servers. Uh, Microsoft can't have their hands in every damn thing. Uh, I know, that, you know, all these companies have to answer to them, but, you know, if, if the developer wants to, you know, spend the extra funds to put in the service to take care of their game, you know, Microsoft ain't going to bitch. That's less strain on Xbox Live. Uh, that's less strain on all their facilities. So if they do, that'll be awesome. We won't have any more of these little punk fag kids running around and yeah i said that if it hurts if it offends anybody tough fucking shit but we're gonna have all these little kids running around with all these modded shit it'll be amazing for a chance to play a game where there's not you know i don't get 30 freaking invites to a 10th prestige lobby or um you know we're hosting uh, clan tryouts and shit i don't care don't send me that shit i'm in a clan you want to play a clan um you want to recruit Go find all your little chunk buddies over there. But anyway, no, I'm not going to bitch about that, guys. God, <laughs> I always start off trying to do a good commentary, and I wind up bitching about something. And it's pointless because, as we all know, Microsoft ain't going to do a goddamn thing about it. Uh, they're too involved with now trying to launch, uh, trying to get in production the next Halo game made by Microsoft, which if it ain't if it ain't uh, done by Bungie, <laughs> they ain't going to sell it. But Anyway, guys and girls, this game is uh, almost over here, and uh, it's getting really late, and I'm going to take my ass to bed here pretty quick, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Um, thanks again, Irish, for uh, coming and gaming with us, and everybody, this is Chaos, and I'm out, and as always, as always, happy gaming.